Hi, I'm Sarah. And I'm Jolene. And today we're going to show you how to make a rocket. Whoa! <laughs> a rocket is simply a controlled explosion. And I have here just the right fuel we need for such an explosion. Hydrogen! To get a rocket into space, we need to overcome the forces of gravity. We need to concentrate all of our efforts in one direction. This container will stop the force of the explosion going in all directions and all the force will come out of the bottom. And if our force is coming out this way, our rocket is going to go up this way. Exactly. And this is Newton's third law of motion. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. We still didn't quite have enough fuel to get our rocket into orbit. To overcome the gravitational pull of the Earth, a typical space rocket needs hundreds of tons of fuel to reach space. You don't have to use hydrogen though. Any rapidly expanding gas will provide the propulsion for your rocket. Here we've made a rocket using alcohol as our fuel. We boiled it into a gas using our hairdryer and if we set it alight using an electric spark, Sarah, Is it on? Nothing will happen! It was and if we set it alight using an electric spark... Sarah? Yeah! Woo! <laughs> so we've talked about propulsion and Newton's third law of motion. But so far the rockets we've made have been a bit too dangerous for you to try at home. So here's one that you can do at home without the flames. This is the pop rocket. So for your pop rocket you need a fizzy vitamin C tablet and an old school film canister. You need a squirt of water in your film canister as well. And for the next bit, you need to be quick. So, put on your safety right, goggles, goggles, chuck a chunk of vitamin C tablet into your film canister, put the lid on, shake it well, and stand back. So that's how you make a rocket, with everything from hydrogen to vitamin C. Why don't you have a go at home, Tweet us and let us know how you get on with your own rocket science. If you want more experiments to try at home, check out Eddie's video on how to make instant ice. Coming soon, we'll be watching Chicks Hatch in Live Lab, so be sure to subscribe for more science every week. Thanks for watching!